There should be a dating site exclusively for people who are mostly just there to find stooges and cameramen for their dumb TikTok and YouTube skits. I'll see a bunch of bios specifically looking for that. It's a genre of YouTube I'm not a fan of. I don't like when anyone is on camera who doesn't want to be or doesn't know how to be. Imagine how exhausting it must be to date a vlogger who's just constantly recording his or her day to chop up into a video of some kind. Like, you just can't catch a breath. You have a long day at work and you come home and your partner's just like, Hey babe, I'm live on Twitch. Say hi to my 18,000 viewers. Oh, and make sure you smile and act perfectly or we'll be trending on Twitter tomorrow. Any content creator who shoehorns their partner into their videos should be mandatorily single. I'm so sick of seeing the same stupid videos of like, my girlfriend tries to guess the names of these Pokemon. Spoiler alert, she does badly. And it's not funny because why would a normal person with no comedic capabilities demonstrating their predetermined ignorance be a hoot to anybody? They do this with family members too. My god, when the content has run dry, sometimes you just gotta farm the gene pool. Hey mom, what do you think this fire lizard Pokemon is called? I don't know, son. Is it maybe Flamosaur? Flamosaur? <laughs> what are you, a fucking idiot? It's Charizard, mom! Alright, let's just do 55 more. Boy, I never get tired of watching people come up with wrong names for things. It's hilarious. It's like, we're so used to the right names for things because they're right. But then when someone says something wrong, we're just like, oh, how oh, 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 unexpected. I'm out of breath from chortling so vigorously. It's some of the dumbest shit on this site besides prank videos. If you're not the YouTuber, stay out of the video. And if you're getting pressured into doing the video, leave the relationship, please. This isn't your fault. You're being reduced to a laughing stock in the public eye you deserve better. If you're a dude who has the utter misfortune of starring in one of these I did my boyfriend's hair and makeup videos, I'm gonna message you coordinates to a dead drop location where I've sequestered a firearm for you to pick up and end your life. No amount or quality of sex is worth that. I don't care how famous she is. I don't care how financially unnecessary you are. Be homeless with dignity and panhandle with unpainted nails like a man. Hot tub streams are a rising topic of today, which is weird considering they're so hard to find. I tried. Maybe I don't know how Twitch works, but I would search hot tub and hot tub stream and like two things would come up. If you're unfamiliar, hot tub streams are exactly what they sound like. Girls streaming from hot tubs and just talking while being in a hot tub and wearing their little hot tub bikinis and pretending half the chat doesn't have their dick out. It's a practice that has caused a bit of an uproar. As some people will say, this is a cheap way to get viewers who then take a Away from other types of Twitch streamers because everyone's competing for attention, and some people will say, who cares, people like semi-hidden titties, and if they want to empty their wallets for a couple wet ladies flaunting their hot tub bodies, who's to stop them? Personally, I think if you're a hot tub streamer, just start an OnlyFans. Why hold back? It can't be a moral reason. You're towing a line on purpose and dangling sexual appetite for donations anyway. Just be honest with yourself and go all the way down the path. No, I'm not that kind of girl. I only show 75% of my boobs, and they only get to see my ass with my crack mildly covered, okay? I'm not an adult entertainer. I'm just an adult who shows their body for entertainment. Just start an OnlyFans. If you have an OnlyFans and you do hot tub streams, damn, the grind is real. Go get them, girl. On one hand, if you're bitter about hot tub girls taking your viewers, firstly, I doubt they were your viewers to begin with. Nobody was like, well, since there aren't any girls hot tubbing today, I guess I'll watch this nothing dude play League of Legends. To say you're competing against hot tub girls is probably to presume too highly of your status. Because it doesn't matter if they have 10 viewers or a million, hot tub girls are providing at the highest level of viewer expectations. If you want to see girls hot tubbing and you go to a hot tub girl stream, you're getting what you asked for 100%. It doesn't matter who they are, if they're famous or not. You want a girls in a bikini? You got them. A plus, five stars, customer satisfaction guaranteed. Unless the girls are literally not in a hot tub or are false advertising in some other way. In which case, those viewers are gonna split as soon as they arrive. You find a hot tub stream and it's just a girl in a turtleneck sweater knitting a ball of yarn in a rocking chair, you're not sticking around. Unless you're like, uh, is this a pre-stream thing? Is hot tub time in like five minutes? Or maybe she's knitting her bikini? Wait, is she knitting the hot tub? Now that's talent. I better drop a gifted sub. There are hot tub girls, and then there are fat, above-ground kiddie pool girls. I saw one of those recently. As with anything, I guess you can't always expect top shelf quality. It was literally a fat chick standing in like a foot of water with a one piece on, and I'm like, what in the hell corner of the internet did I just stumble into? Was there more water to start and she just splashed it all out when she got in? Or maybe she absorbed it all like a chunky sponge. If someone gave her a hug, they could refill the pool. Ah, oh, I miss fat jokes. They only get stale if people stop trying.
I'm not going to take time out of my day to watch a hot tub girl stream unless I know the girl personally, but I'll probably never be that lucky. And even if I did, I just imagine myself sitting there in a lineup of all these other dudes fondling themselves while they ask dumb shit like, what's your favorite color? Oh, blue? That's my balls right now. What a coincidence. You're not getting riveting philosophical debates from chat during a hot tub stream. It feels like a gathering of pedophiles because their brains are too horny to think of sophisticated questions or topics, so they just talk to the girls like they're children while they also say, Say things like, oh man, I love your top. Wish I was the bottom. As if the girl's gonna be like, oh my god, Blaster 94 DM me when the stream's over. I mean, maybe that can work if your profile picture is real and very attractive, but like, that's hardly the standard a hot tub girl's chat is working with. I don't know how people can simp in groups. Simping is a solo activity, one I don't engage in, but still a solo activity. Like, how do you align yourselves as a collective and commit simultaneous simpage? Like, I'm gonna simp right under this other dude who's simping and above this next dude simping, and we're also all talking to each other. Like, what do you guys like the best about Hot Tub Girl? Well, I like her smile. Well, I like her bubbly personality. Well, I like her wet, juicy ass. Sit on my face, Hot Tub Girl, and let one rip in my esophagus, baby! It's okay, I didn't like that either, but it came to mind and I had to do it. I love when a hot tub girl brings a guy on, or it's a couple girls, and then their guy friends join. You can just feel the chat go, Boo! Get off the stage! My boner is melting! Hot tub streams often have sub-goals. Those must be the easiest things in the world to hit. Milestones for certain amounts of subscribers. I saw one that if she got enough subs, the girl was gonna change bikinis. I'm like, do it on camera and my sub is yours, fair lady. I assume when she steps out of frame, the whole chat just goes, oh my god, she's naked right now. Can we all feel it? Maybe if we channel enough psychic energy as a group, we can make the camera turn far enough to catch her in the act. These are all people who should just be in cam girl chats. You're already donating money for some reason. Might as well get what you're asking actually craving out of it. I do think it's disingenuous to be a hot tub girl and think anyone stopped by for your opinions. Like, don't be a prude about it. If you're banning people for flirting or making sexual comments, that's like opening a lemonade stand for people who don't want lemonade. A lot of people want your lemonade, which is a gross thing I'll never say again. This is all just so outside my purview, but the funny part is, if I was a girl, I would probably do a hot tub stream. And even as a dude, there's room for one as a joke were I to have the opportunity. I don't own a hot tub because I've never murdered anyone to get ahead financially, but don't count me out just yet. Speaking of simping, how do you do it on the timeline so shamelessly? Like on Twitter, there's a guy I follow and my timeline constantly shows me every time he likes a girl's picture. If you were to look at that dude's likes on his profile, which is something anyone can view, you would see an ocean of different girl selfies. And he has to know that because I know that. And the fact that I'm conscious about it means I'm not out here regularly liking tweets or pictures from girls I notice or follow even when I want to. I don't think Twitter likes should be viewable. They paint a far too close together picture of what may have been spread out over time. Imagine I like a girl's picture like once a month. Well, if I don't like much else, then you can view my likes and just see this steady stream of selfies like, ooh, albino thirsty. And it's like, well, that thirst is easily quenched and manifests infrequently, so try again, sucker. I don't like things on Twitter unless it serves a purpose. I treat it like how Facebook used to have poking, but less creepy. Liking something is a radar ping going off that signals to the recipient that you exist somewhere out there in the water like a submarine. I don't need to like a cute video of cats. I'm not trying to get the cats to notice me. I acknowledge their cuteness privately to myself. You sending a like is you sending a notification. They open it, they see your name, they ignore you, or maybe you exist in their brain for a little bit at a time now. That ain't nothing. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, ask some burned albino, and I'll see you guys next time.